Mrs. Munson with Munson Music. We're going to talk about how you can play a song by Cash Out called She's Twerking. And it mainly works around this main riff, actually, where, where you can play fourth on the low E string, second fret on the B string, third on the B, second fret on the B, and then open D, and then second on the B, third on the B, second on the B. So we're going to have the G sharp note, kind of that four, two, three, two, and then open D. Kind of gravitate towards a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, and third finger on the B string third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now around the D in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the second finger and make that a D suspended chord. Or you could even kind of add in the pinky on the high E third for D suspended. Alright, we got the B sus to D sus. And we can kind of say some things around the D chord. But the main thing is really kind of that bass line to kind of that four on the low E to the open D. Four, open D. So you can even take the D chord and use your pinky to kind of cover that fourth fret on the low E string. And that's something called D slash G sharp or D major chord with a G sharp in the bass. And you can even wear that as kind of a down idea too. Kind of D slash G sharp, D, D slash G sharp. To the D and just try that on you. Down, 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 down. So if you want to do the D slash G short with kind of a down, down, up. Something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot at the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. Kind of one, two, one, two. That's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. So we took the D and just did it down for four. Kind of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That's what you do on the first beat. And on the second beat, you do it down on one, down on three, up on four. So we have one, two, three, four, down, 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 down. And then on the third beat, you do it up on two, down on three. So we have one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you go down, up, down, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, down. slash G sharp with just the down, 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 up. and then the D with the down, down, down. That sound even better, actually, if you add bass notes to that, actually, kind of, you, know, you can do the, the G sharp with a low E bass, and then a down, down, up, and then the open D, and then a down, down. Even 
kind of where the D is a bass, where the D slash G sharp is your bass, down, down, up, and then go to the D for the up, bass, down, up, down, up, which should sound very cool, actually. D slash G sharp, down, down, D, up, bass, down, down, D slash G sharp, down, down, D, up, bass, down, down, D slash G sharp, D, D slash G sharp. seems really weird to you doing the 16th, you may want to try just a bass down up on each chord. Back to the eighth note. Kind of working it that way too. But I think the main thing really is just kind of that main riff. Kind of that 4, 2, 3, 2, open D, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 3, 2, open 2, 3, 2. So you want to kind of play around with that. But that's the basics of how you can strum through. She twerking by Cash Out. So good luck.